Hi, I'm Matt. And I'm Dave. And in this Magento Basics tutorial, you're going to learn how to disable polls in Magento. That's right. So let's jump across to Magento and we'll catch up with you there in a few moments time. So Dave, I've been coming across to our Magento dashboard and of course follow us along with your system as well. I have a quick question. Have you ever seen a website actually utilize the polls? Yeah, we used to have a community website which was based on E107, really old framework. And yeah, we used to run community polls all the time. Oh, that's cool. Well, I guess that wasn't an e-commerce site, was it? That was no, not a community site. <laughs> it was a community site. <laughs> like a forum. Okay. Yeah, big forum, content, things like that. I've just always struggled to think how you could utilize a poll effectively without it taking up all the space that could be better utilized with something else. Yeah, product. So let's disable it. <laughs> <laughs> so let's disable it. Good question. And apologies if you're listening and you just want to find out how to disable them. I'm sure you how to do that right now. So there's two ways which you can do this. I'm going to show you the easy way first, and then I'm going to show you the slightly more advanced way, which will completely disable the polls method in here with Magento, and there'll be no coding required. Okay, so no notepad, no editing blocks or anything like that. I'll put my nerd glasses down. Yes. <laughs> so let's go to CMS and then polls at the top. Now, Dave, you can see that we've got a poll in here at the moment and in the old sample data for Magento, you normally had a poll enabled as well. Now, if that's you, this poll you can see has got a status of open. If you click onto that poll and then change the status from open to closed and then press save poll, that will stop it from showing on your Magento website. And of course, you could also click on delete poll as well, which I'm actually going to do right now, and that will stop that poll showing on your Magento website. Well, that was nice and easy. <laughs> oh yeah, really straightforward. Of course, just make sure they're all closed and delete them as required. Okay, now taking this to the extreme is that maybe you've decided that you never want to use polls within Magento, and you don't want like one of your members of staff enabling them by accident or playing around with that, is that what you can do is go to system down to configuration, and the reason why I like this route, Dave, because if you look online, there's lots of nerdy ways of doing this by going into the XML and the layout XML file and disabling the block and so on and so forth, which is very nerdy and the long way of explaining it. And the very easy way is to come into system and configuration and scroll right down to the bottom. Then on the left-hand side, underneath the advanced, click on advanced, and then you'll have a long list of modules which you've got available. And one of these, if I scroll down, it's hiding normally down in the bottom underneath, there it is. So let me scroll down and highlight this for you on the screen. But also do take great care in this one that you make sure you get the right one. Okay, so right next to Magento Poll, drop that down and then choose Disable. So make sure you get it on exactly the same row because you don't want to disable persistent or product alerts, for example. Make sure you get the one on exactly the same row, which says Madge underscore poll. And then once you've been and made a change in here, press Save Config at the top. Now, Dave, that will have completely disabled polls from being displayed on our Magento website. But just as good measure, I'm just going to take us through one extra step just to clear the caches out. So if you go to System, down to cache management. And the reason why I'm doing this, Dave, is because in our system, we've got a four page cache extension. And you listening to this, you may also have an extension like that enabled on your Magento website. So it's just as good practice. You've been and made, disable a module, like, or you may have enabled a module's output during this tutorial, is to come into system and then in cache management, click on select or on the left hand side, and then press submit on the right hand side, this will take a few moments, and then clear out your Magento cache by clicking on flush Magento cache, that will take a moment, and then the cache storage will give you a pop up and then just click on OK, it will take a few moments, and then once that's finished, go back to your Magento website, and then your polls should then be disabled on your Magento website. Does that make sense, Dave? Yeah, totally. But going back to your original question about the polls, yeah, community-based websites, so maybe you've integrated WordPress on your Magento website, then yeah, you might want to run a poll in there because it kind of makes sense for it to be in there. But in e-commerce, generally, 
I'd stick a product in that space which it would take up. Again, extra chances of selling a product while you're there, if that makes sense. Yeah, totally. <laughs> so with that said, from myself, Matt. And from me, Dave. Cheerios. So from myself, Matt. And me, Dave. We hope that you found this video tutorial helpful. If you have, then let us know by leaving a thumbs up on this video below or subscribing to our YouTube channel. We believe to use Magento, you don't need a degree in Nerd, and we've created you over 300 step-by-step -step video tutorials at understandinge.com to help you. In these tutorials, you'll learn how to use Magento with no prior knowledge. How to build a fully responsive Magento website for just $99, which is about 65 quid. How you can use Magento to sell on eBay and Amazon with M2E Pro. And you'll be joined by over 6,000 fellow business owners just like you. And the best part is, it's free to join. So for myself, Matt. And me, Dave. We'll see you there. Cheerios.